Hey guys, good morning. This is Coach Bill with Fat Loss Made Easy. Hope you guys are having a great uh, rainy Monday morning so far. Today's topic, guys, is uh, I'm going to give you a little update. I don't think I've given you an update on how MNI is training coming along and how our uh, strength is coming along. Uh, those of you following me know that we both do um, alternate day fastings and we also do uh, high fat, low carb meals. <clears throat> and um, this last uh, month and a half, I think it, it's been maybe two months, I'm not sure. But um, I, I, I introduced uh, 42 hour fastings on our Tuesdays when we fast. And then I've done, and then I'll do a 20 hour fast on Thursday and a 20 hour fast on um, Saturday. And these are all true fasts, uh, which means we're only drinking uh, water with our pink Him Himalayan sea salt and black coffee. But um, what I've done in the last couple of weeks is I've actually gone strictly 42 hours on Tuesdays, which has become pretty simple for us to do now. Of course, at first when we started this, had a few hunger ways, but because we know how to uh, blow through them, um, they didn't last very long. Um, but I also, in the last couple of weeks, went to 24-hour fastings on Thursdays and a 24 hour fasting on Saturdays. And the reason for that is, is because I actually feel better uh, when I'm not eating. And I also feel a little bit stronger when I'm not eating and working out in that fasted state. Uh, especially if I'm longer, like if, for example, on Tuesdays, uh, we work out at about, or on Wednesdays, we work out at about 42 hours of fasting. So we feel really good and strong. But in this last couple of weeks, Emily and I, um, yes, we have actually gone, uh, gained some extra strength uh, according to our documentation. And we've had to add a little more weight, maybe two and a half to five pounds most, most of the time. And it looks like, um, which means that we're basically adding some lean muscle. I'm noticing myself personally, um, I'm looking, I'm getting more stirrations in my shoulder area in my chest. Emily is already ripped. So, I mean, when she loses a little more body fat, she even looks more ripped. Uh, but we also are both at an older age, uh, well over 60 years old. So we're doing this just to show the seniors out there that there's no age limit uh, when you're looking to get in the best shape of your life. But um, what I'm going to do this next week is I'm going to change it up a little bit, our interval strength training work work out because we work out very hard uh, each body part and so because we've increased our um, weights um, slightly every week it seems like the, uh, Emily's Fitbit is showing us our, our after each set uh, we're peaked out on our heart uh, heart rate so that means we're training super super hard and which means we're getting a lot of cardio also but I want to I want to build my, I'm looking to build up my biceps and triceps a little more. So I think what I'm going to try theory, you know, I'm going to go, you know, theory, theory, theory is that what I'm looking to do here and why I'm going to do this is to give myself full recovery after working out to work a next body part, even though Emily and I are fully recovered by the time we walk out of the gym. And within an hour, we're basically, we can go back to the gym and work out again. I want to try doing a double day, which means today uh, we did upper body, added an extra chest exercise, and we're, and trained super hard and heavy. Um, I'm getting close to the weights I used to do when I was uh, 225 pounds, and I'm only 182 now. So uh, that's encouraging. But what I want to do is not, most of the time on Mondays, we do chest and tries together. But we train so hard in our chest, I just want to see if I uh, go home, have my break my fast with my first light meal, and then have my main meal at 1 o'clock. And then I'm not going to eat anything and go back to the gym at 3. And I'm going to do tries and buys, and I'm going to hammer them. We're going to do our normal heavy wor workout on our tries and buys. And see if by resting a few more hours and then letting our food di digest. And then uh, most of the time we're pretty, 
within an hour or two, we've digested most of our food because we don't over consume food. Our meals are not huge and our digestive tract works very, very well because we've been doing this program for you know quite a few years now. But I want to see if I can even train harder with my tries and buys and see how that goes. And I'll document what I'm doing and see if I can increase my strength on my tries and buys. And then um, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday of my fasting day, which will be a 42 hour fa fasting day, I'm also going to do a split root routine. I'm gonna do uh, my legs in the morning because I need to do my legs. And then I'm gonna do my shoulders about one or two o'clock. But we're not gonna be eating any calories through that whole day until Wednesday around 10 o'clock the following morning. So both workouts, I'll be completely in a fasted state. So that'll be, uh, and we've done this before and we've blown right. I mean, we've had no issues with loss of energy or strength or, or, or anything. And that's because we're, we're rooted in fat adaptation and ketone adapted. And you guys gotta remember, we've been doing this for a long, long time. So that's what we're gonna be doing this week. I've got a feeling that uh, it's going to, I'm going to, I am going to improve on my biceps and tries because if, you know, with, with all the science out there that's coming up about um, autophagy and how seniors can uh, escalate their growth hormones and their muscle building hormones by fasting uh, over 20 hours, I think it's going to work. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so I'll keep you guys updated. And you guys have a great Monday, and we'll see you guys at the next video.